Oh, let's see. I ended up making a uh, a TIG torch cooler. I had the Longevity 160 Pi TIG and arc welder and plasma cutter. And uh, it had the fittings. It actually had the hoses on the TIG line. And I ended up installing these, this inexpensive little valve and some uh, push fittings. This is a quarter inch line. It's typically, well, this came from... Uh, some kind of pneumatic hosing that I had laying around but it's the same as quarter inch ice line and I just ran it out all the way out here I run it to my uh, faucet I actually just have it on the end of a hose right now I have a standard compression fitting right there and I'll turn it on just to show you the the flow to expect this is Houston City pressure and we're probably running about 60 psi I believe and this is the flow after about oh. 30 feet of line so that's what to expect you could probably run the flow a little lower than that and it would be fine I have a valve uh, at the machine so I can turn it off if I need and uh, I'll turn the water off again I know you enjoy the photography but uh, so far running it no matter how long I weld I get a handle temperature of about 75 to 80 degrees uh, quite a drastic improvement from the uh, 140 range that I was getting so uh, quite a cheap investment easy solution you can buy a torch cooler if that's what you want to do and uh, until I'm proven otherwise this is a good cheap solution for a hobbyist see ya